that there's a push on Capitol Hill to mark Juneteenth Day, a day that commemorates the end of slavery in the United States as a federal holiday. Earlier this week, the U.S. Senate passed a bill in support of the change, and just last night, the House of Representatives did the same. Now, all the bill needs is the president's signature. Many black Americans consider Juneteenth their Independence Day, which is why many places nationwide are making sure June 19th is a time of celebration and reflection. But not everyone agrees that the day should be a paid holiday for federal employees. Our Ryan Jenkins goes 360 to gain multiple perspectives on this conversation. When it comes to Juneteenth Day, many policymakers nationwide are showing support towards efforts to make what many black Americans also call Freedom Day an official nationally recognized holiday. To understand different perspectives, we're going 360, digging into arguments both for and against the change. We share what Wisconsin lawmakers on both sides of the aisle are saying and hear from the chairwoman of the Milwaukee County Board of Supervisors on why the county decided to recognize Juneteenth as an official holiday for the first time just last year. And we hear from the Milwaukee branch of the NAACP on why having time set aside to recognize and celebrate Juneteenth matters. That's where we start. It's important for civic engagement. Clarence P. Nicholas is the president of the Milwaukee branch of the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People. He says recognizing Juneteenth as an official holiday is overdue. And it needs to be taught in all public schools so that students as well as adults and parents will know the significance of Juneteenth Day and the importance of not just celebrating, but knowing their history. All but four states and many cities and counties nationwide declare Juneteenth an official holiday, but it's still not recognized as a legal federal holiday like Labor Day and George Washington's birthday. Some members of Congress have been working to change that. In February of this year, Senator Tammy Baldwin threw her support behind a bill that would add Juneteenth to the list of federal holidays. Meanwhile, in previous years, Senator Ron Johnson blocked attempts to make Juneteenth a federal holiday. In a statement, his spokesperson tells me, quote, Senator Johnson doesn't support legislation which adds over $600 million to our national debt so that 2 million federal employees can have another paid day off of work, something most Americans in the private sector do not receive. But this week, he chose not to object the ongoing efforts, and the Senate passed the bill unanimously. It still needs to pass the House and be signed by the president to become law. That $600 million figure comes from the official White House numbers given by the Obama administration when the then president gave federal employees the day after Christmas off back in 2014. Senator Ron Johnson is very out of touch uh, with the community of, at the local level and even statewide. Chairwoman of the Milwaukee County Board of Supervisors, Marciella Nicholson, disagrees with Senator Johnson. Milwaukee County declared Juneteenth a county holiday last year. We wanted to make sure that Milwaukee County celebrated diversity and uh, pursued inclusivity uh, because everybody uh, deserves to have uh, their heritage, their background, their experiences acknowledged, recognized and celebrated. I would love to see this a federal holiday, and I'm pretty sure that our, our allies at, uh, in the House of Representatives and in Congress will, will represent us and make sure that happens. Wisconsin was the 32nd state to recognize Juneteenth as an official state holiday. That bill was signed back in 2009. Ryan Jenkins, TMJ4 News. For more of Ryan's 360 reporting, you can head to TMJ4.com slash 360. And a reminder, TMJ4 will be bringing you live coverage of Saturday morning's Juneteenth Parade. You can wake up with us starting at 8 a.m.